In the spring of 2020, no one has to ask why we need data or why students should know how to interpret graphs and make decisions based on them. More than ever, we recognize the uncertainty that accompanies real data. The Data Club's project believes that middle school students can and should know how to manipulate data to answer their own questions. In after-school programs and summer camps, Data Club's participants gain tools to make meaning of data in the presence of uncertainty. Our first module used data from the Pew Institute about how teens use technology such as video games and social media. Participants were shocked to discover that Facebook was the most popular platform according to Pew until they learned that the Pew data were collected in 2014, so they collected their own data to compare to the Pew data. Using the data analysis tool CodeApp, they explored patterns in the data, including the effects of variables such as age and gender. The first thing I noticed was definitely that texting is the most popular way of communicating. Um, I assume it's just because of like how easy it is and how quick and simple like the receiver can get the message. Texting is just like the easiest thing, in my opinion at least. Based on the book Dear Data, we also had youth make creative representations of data they collected themselves, such as these of girls' hair in one data club. The images reflect texture, curliness, and whether their hair was dyed. In our second module, youth explored data on tick-borne diseases, such as Lyme disease, looking at all 50 states and at changes over time. They considered how rates of Lyme are increasing and how this might relate to environmental factors, like temperature and climate change. At first, we didn't know whether to put Delaware or New Hampshire up, and then we saw that New Hampshire's rate of infection has been steadily increasing, and so if that rate of growth is steady, it will have a rate of infection higher than Delaware. We found that youth in both urban and rural settings were very interested in the topic of ticks and Lyme disease. They especially liked using CODAP to look at the states they lived in and try to predict where rates of Lyme would be highest in the future. Participating in data clubs made youth aware of career paths, such as epidemiology, that they were unfamiliar with. And in our assessment interview, participants told us repeatedly that data clubs was very different from any data experience they had previously had, because they could pursue their own questions with a flexible computer tool. We have developed several modules with accompanying data sets and two assessment tools, which are available on our website. We invite you to use them to introduce middle school youth you know to data science.